I have a friend on uh, Facebook who's going to send me some pictures of him in a pose similar to this so that I can use it to, uh, uh, or, or different. I mean, I, I told him to be kind of exaggerated in his movements and I told him the idea behind what I'm trying to sculpt. And so I can't do anything until he sends me the pictures. Um, and so I'm going to hold off on this guy back to working on this guy. Let me tell you, this is heavy. <clears throat> but uh, it's been sitting on my table there for way too long and I want to work on it. He hasn't sagged any, so that's good. These little temporary armatures here, uh, supports, are working, which is a good thing. I'm really happy with this piece the way it's turning out. And uh, I just need to get back working on it. Got my clay softened up. I've got uh, 21 degrees outside and I'm warm inside. <laughs> so, anyway. And it's been way too long to be away from my sculpting. Way too long. Again, the uh, action of his arm is forcing that uh, leather to uh, move away from the, the force. Yeah, this is going to be a good piece. Yeah, it's time to get it done. That's a good position for the feather right there. Busy. By the way, it, for those of you who don't know, I did a demo uh, down at the uh, Sculpture Depot uh, in Loveland, Colorado. Uh, SculptureDepot.net is one of the best places to buy uh, art supplies of every kind. I mean, it, uh, de dealing with sculpture. And uh, they have every kind of clay that you'd ever want and wax and everything else. Uh, you might check them out online. Uh, SculptureDepot.net Alright, back to work. By the way, I uh, just started using LED lights, 100 waters, in my overhead light. They're instant on, instead of sitting here waiting for five minutes for a curly cue to get warmed up. And it's a better and stronger light than the curly cues. And uh, they don't run hot and they don't waste energy. They are much more efficient than the curly cues. And you don't have to worry about them breaking and spreading uh, mercury all over your house. So I could highly recommend you getting LED lights. They're very expensive. They're about almost nine dollars a piece, but you understand they last forever and power you save more than pays for them. I sent out a uh, email uh, to the organizer of uh, the uh, workshop I'm doing next week in Grapevine, Texas. And uh, I mentioned that uh, I thought that it would be wise for people to get the uh, glyptic tools. This is one of them. Uh, it has, you can change the uh, wire heads out. and The wire heads cost everywhere from $3 to $2.50. And if you want a different wire tool, you don't have to buy a whole wire tool to replace it. You can just buy one handle and it'll take uh, quite a few uh, uh, wire ends. Uh, and then you just use an Allen wrench that comes with the handle. And you just tighten it up on the uh, 
wire and it will never break on you and it will never start loosening up on you. I love it. The Glyptic tool was designed and uh, by Karen at SculptureDepot.net and uh, in lovely Colorado and uh, just a great tool. It makes moving the light around a lot easier having LED light because it's not hot. You can touch the bulb, not burn yourself, and so the shade of the uh, light uh, is not hot. So you can grab onto it. And I love these LED lights.
Right, I'm going to take some uh, Ronson and all uh, lighter fluid um, because uh, it has properties in it that actually melts the clay a little bit. Now this is a plastiline clay and that's the reason why uh, it never hardens. I mean I started this piece geez, it must have been five months ago in Loveland and uh, it hasn't hardened at all. It just takes out the harsh marks where I don't want the harsh marks. And it'll take uh, well, probably an hour for it to uh, dry. So that's going to be basically it for today. Don't think I'll be here tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I can be here Sunday working and I've got a phone call. All right, I hope you all had a great new year, and uh, I'm looking forward to the months ahead uh, in anticipation of what I will create in the future. Good night, everybody. Enjoy your families, and uh, be thankful for them.